The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter's outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the front of my edge. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 now your hosts nico dehan and paige clark good morning i'm nico dehan welcome to living a primal lifestyle where we explore a return to a more balanced natural wild world that's right nico to recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms I'm Paige Clark. And it's a beautiful morning in downtown Clearwater, Florida. It's uh, 52 degrees, going up to about uh, 71, 72. So it's definitely beautiful down here. Yes, and make sure to pick up our Health Signals newsletter, News You Can Use, delivered to your inbox twice a month for $10 a month. Got a brand new one out here right now. We're talking about uh, the Nira Athena that we uh, spoke about. Uh, Neurasthenia and the culture of nervous exhaustion, which really kind of gave us an idea that uh, EMFs have been bothering us for quite some time. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Going back to the turn of the century, so that was really interesting. The phone number here is, folks, is 877-927-6648 if you'd like to join the program. Also, like to remind you, please pick up our Primal Edge, our One Shot Wonder, over 310 cell-ready liquid ingredients, all made to enhance your health and powered by fulvic and, fulvic and humic acid, all made to... Uh, Take the good stuff into your body. That's right, and help you get the bad stuff out. You so, it. hey, Nico, I saw this. So you're going to give us a little update. I really count on you to keep me up to date on space weather. Well, there's a real interesting website called spaceweather.com that I refer to quite a bit, and this gives you some. Uh, some and this good is Ben clues. Davidson's website. Uh, I think this is sponsored by the oh, okay, uh, Super Suspicious Observer. Uh, it tells you a lot of things, and I think we'll just go over news here. and information about the Sun Earth environment. That's right. Solar wind. Uh, incoming solar wind, a uh, stream of solar wind is expected to brush Earth's magnetic field on March 8th. This gaseous material is flowing from a northern hole in the sun's atmosphere. Although much of the windy stream will sail north of our planet, its grazing effect nevertheless will spark bright auroras around the Arctic circles. So what does that really mean, a solar wind? <clears throat> the solar wind is the uh, wind that comes off of the sun th uh, through these coronal holes and uh, impacts, uh, it's basically space radiation. So it's radiation directly from the sun. Now we get it uh, from other stars also. Uh, we also get so it from in this supernova, in novas, things like that, things that happen okay. in space. So the radiation is sent out and it's sent out through different uh, miles per hour. Some of them come the speed of light, some of them come much slower. So in general, just for break it down for uh, more simple for mm -hmm. me, so in general, because we're entering a grand solar minimum, mm -hmm. there's more risk of, the of radiation. solar radiation, whether it be in the form of solar wind. As a result of the lowering sun activity, there's not, more holes. Yeah, or we, we don't solar. get as many what we call CMEs, which are the plasma that comes out and kind of buffers our atmosphere and makes our atmosphere large and kind of fluffy. So when there's not enough sunspots out, and we, we're just coming out of the maximum. So for the last 10, 11 years, we've been having lots and lots of uh, We were holes. warm, and we, were, we yeah, had a lot was, of CMEs. And, this, and these CMEs are just brushing out mm -hmm. and kind of buffering you know, from the coronal hole. High solar from, activity, from keeping, spots, keeping the atmosphere puffy. Yeah, so then when the sun goes to sleep, no the, sunspots. The, the sunspots go down, right? right? And there's holes where this can come in. Okay, yeah, so we've I got a, a picture. I think basically we had one sunspot uh, this whole year so far. Oh. And usually there's 19, 20, 30 a, a month. So that's a that's activity. a real sign, right? Yeah. So what they're saying is cosmic rays are bad and they're getting worse. That's the conclusion of a new paper just published in the research journal Space Weather. The authors. Uh, 
and they're from the University of uh, New Hampshire, show that radiation from deep space is dangerous and intensifies intensifying faster than previous okay predicted. so we can expect more radiation from sta space <clears throat> right. and this is going to have what effect it's going to interfere with weather well, it's going to interfere with electronics yeah it's going to sure. interfere with the electronics of our body and i notice a lot of people saying well the, f the sun feels very hot Okay, so we're going through a minimum. The sun feels hot because these rays are coming through our atmosphere. That's a good point because I told you about my friend Howard Miller, who's the sunset sniper here locally. Okay. And, you know, he's always monitoring, showing the geoengineering spraying okay. and yeah. everything that's going on. And his comment is, oh, they must be spraying us to cool us off, mm -hmm. you know, because the sun is so hot. But what you're saying is, no, it's probably not that... Um, Valent of intentions for the geoengineering. Well, you know, it's it, more likely that the <clears throat> cosmic rays are are just strong in the sun, so the sun feels stronger. Yeah. So the story begins about four years ago when the uh, Swarden uh, Drun and his colleagues first sounded the alarm about cosmic rays. Analyzing the data from the cosmic rays telescope for the effects of radiation uh, on the NASA's lunar uh, reconnaissance orbiters. Uh, I guess. It's that's what it is, the orbiter out there. They found the cosmic rays in the Earth-Sun system were peaking at levels never before seen in the space age. The worsening radiation environment, they point out, was a potential peril to astronauts. That's natural. And they also, of course, uh, if well, you're yeah, flying, they say it's a peril to astronauts, but it's affecting us all. Because the reality is, how many astronauts do we really have? Well, you know, sure. Or have we really have? So ga galactic cosmic rays from the outside of the solar system, they are a mixture of high energy protons and subatomic particles accelerated towards Earth by, def uh, by these supernovas and other events. Our first mm -hmm. line of defense is the sun. The sun's magnetic field and solar wind combine to create a porous shield that fends off cosmic rays attempting to enter the solar system. So let's just draw that picture for everybody. Our sun, when it's normally active, mm -hmm. spikes that shield. Buffers it and gives buffers us a it. Nice it's little, almost like, yeah. hey, stay awake and, stay, right. and stay, right. stay valid. And it really protects us a lot. So when the sun is going to sleep as it is now, it's you kinda can like, see. It's kind of like it's not on guard as much as it should no be. You see there's no sunspots. And this was uh, brought out in the 1600s by the um, modders. Mm -hmm. That's why they call the modern minimum during the 16 and 1700s. Because the sun they were is playing the no sun. sunspots, yeah. right. And they made the correlation that sunspots are the things that keep us really buffered. And so when there's no sunspots, all these cosmic rays and CMEs from the sun and from space can really uh, impact us really negatively. So let me just say, the problem is, as the authors note in their new paper, the shield is weakening. It's not getting that stimulation, so it's not exactly. as over the last decade. The solar wind has exhibited low densities and magnetic field strengths representing anomalous states that have never been observed during the space age. As a result of this remarkably weak solar activity, we've observed the highest flux of, cosmetic, of cosmic rays. Right. And, uh, um, this is our previous work suggested a 28% increase of dose of cosmic rays from one solar minimum to the next. We now see the actual doses rates are much higher than that. the last four years. It's been predicted by over 10% each year, showing that the radiation environment is worsening even more rapidly than we expected. And this is what Ben Davidson, and this is what the DAP 2030, David Devine has said. Uh, all these uh, websites that are really talking about the sun's energy are talking about this exact thing happening. Mm -hmm. And so we'll continue with this after the break. Yeah, because I want to discuss how does this actually affect us? Break it down for you know in the simple terms how, okay. how, how you know what does this all mean we're that's all we, learning right here and that's what we've been teaching everybody for a that's while right. we got to pay right attention to what's going on with the sun be right back you know what's cool taking something that's good for you something specifically formulated to help with weight loss better sleep stress reduction and the need to detox nico our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment but today our food sources no longer contain the vitamins minerals and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong that's why we need primal edge daily nutrition it includes a special blend of ionics oil-based vitamins minerals fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form primal edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic 
stomach acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. 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 Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. and how they affect us, and really they do affect us all because cosmic rays penetrate commercial airlines and they dose passengers and flight crews with so much that pilots are classified by the International Commission on Radiological Protection as occupational radiation workers. I remember Dr. Marshall taught us that the radiation that you get in a cross-country flight, like from California to New York, mm -hmm. <clears throat> is equivalent in one flight to to uh, 100 x-rays yeah so you know so not only are they zapping you through those x-ray machines they're also zapping you in the plane and you can imagine the pilots and the uh, people who work with these air airlines and in the air a lot that they're getting zapped a lot and mm -hmm. you just wonder how this is going to affect their health in later years well we know that radiation is actually a cause of cancer mm -hmm. ironically that we actually believe we can use it to cure cancer that's kind of kind of kooky but um <laughs> Uh, so, you know, furthermore, there are studies that show that link cosmic rays with cardiac arrhythmias in the general population. We could see a lot of electrical field disturbance. I think it's going to be very exciting, and maybe we'll report more on what the health world is doing to help fortify us and protect our fields and protect our, our energy fields because this is not going away, is it, Nico? It's going to be continuing. Yeah, it's, it's going to be increasing. Cosmic rays will intensify even more in the years ahead as the sun plunges towards maybe the deepest solar minimum in more than a century. Stay tuned for updates. There you go. So I recommend people to go to spaceweather.com. Take a look at this material. It's updated every single day. It and shows show them how you they can see on. what the sun looks like. This is a picture of the sun, right? This is a photograph, this our is, telescope. Well, they have lots of different mm -hmm. ways of showing it. This shows you the coronal holes, which uh, uh, emit these uh, CMEs. And here's this, uh, the sunspot thing. 
So okay. right now we got no sunspots at all. So that's why we're in a minimum because there is no sunspots. And if this continues, you know, then the general we have hundreds and hundreds of sunspots, and when they come down to zero for many many days, this is when the protection wanes on our atmosphere, and this is when we're more susceptible. And what happens too? These cosmic rays cause a lot of problems with earthquakes. Earthquakes, because, weather, volcanoes. Exactly. These uh, are all electrical. And remember, wind is a pressure-related mm -hmm. system. So when you're talking about pressure, you're talking about electricity, low pressure to high pressure. That's the way electricity mm -hmm. works. So the wind is made merely reacting to the pressure that the sun and the stars give us. Right. So it's, it's an interesting thing, and uh, it's complicated. But uh, uh, if you go to spaceweather.com, there's a lot of information there. If you go to the Suspicious Observer site, there's a lot of short videos on there, uh, three to five, some are as long as 15 minutes, how to watch the sun, what's going on with our sun, what's going on with the planets. All this information is very interesting. It uh, will help keep you safe, I believe, and then it'll help us in these next 20 to 30 years, and some people are predicting it may go longer than that. So we really don't know what's happening. This is the first time human beings... Uh, and we've actually last... known to watch it. Yeah, and known to watch <laughs> it. That's the one thing. But also, we haven't had that many... You know, we've had a couple of minimums, like the modern minimum, which is in the 1670s, the Dark Ages. The Maunder. The yeah. Maunder minimum. Mm -hmm. And that was really bad. And then we had the Spore minimum before that. And then we had these great... Uh, activities that were kind of the warming events, which we call the Roman warming, the, the Greek warming, and uh, the, uh, you know, this discovery of America was during a low period, but after that, everything kind of flourished for a uh, uh, hundred years or more, mm -hmm. until the 1800s, and then we got a minimum again, which is they call the Mont Dalton minimum, and we hope that's what we're getting now, the Dalton minimum, because that's relatively 20 or 30 years of really cold weather, and then it's over with. But if it's like the modern minimum... The Maunder. The Maunder minimum. Okay. Uh, then we're talking maybe 100, 150 years of this. Right. So that's And a what's big the research... Difference. It's kind of either there, side. A, yeah, it could be, you know. We don't know, and uh, a lot of people are predicting well, we'll the be dooms gone. because, yeah, maybe so. Maybe not. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Science is a, is a beautiful recycle. thing. <laughs> exactly. Okay. But, I, you know, the reason I want to bring this all to the attention of the people is because this is the age we're living in, and these things are actually happening. If you're seeing what's happening in the United States, and particularly Europe right now, you're seeing deadly cold coming, wave after wave but of us. if and you're we're... watching your regular TV, you're probably not hearing about it, guys. you got to do your research because they're not reporting on it. They don't want yeah, they, the panic they, to be televised They report on the weather, but they don't report it. That this may be a coming trend. And mm -hmm. I think it's important because uh, if you're not prepared, you, you may die for something like this. When the electricity goes out for a long time, three months, six months, that puts everybody in peril. You've already seen what's happened uh, up in the north east up in the midwest when these cold events happen and also in europe you get food shortages pretty much in two or three days and one person on facebook the other day was saying 12 hours and all the food was gone out of my supermarket the whole thing was bare mm -hmm. and this was up in the boston area this now, is I, just being smart folks this is not being alarmist this right. is just common sense i think so i think yeah. you need to follow yeah. these things i need you know we need to be up what's happening in this world some people are predicting that uh, after 2050 it's just going to go downhill from there and we're we may be entering another glacial period mm -hmm. uh, and this happens about every 10,000 years so you can say we're due for it but of course we don't know that and i i'd hate to see that come that's for sure but i do want people to be prepared so ben davidson adapt 2030 spaceweather.com there's a guy out there called the ice age farmer uh He's Oppenheimer, uh, Oppenheimer Ranch. Ranch. He bugs me a lot because he says boom all the time. Oh, does <laughs> yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, boom, this is coming, and boom. And I go, okay, enough of the boom. It's a, it's, the information, to me, is enough. And I think you need to prepare. So I think uh, if you're living up north, you better uh, get some alternatives. Well, the whole thing eating. is it's really going gonna, gonna to impact us no matter where we're at because our food supply is global. Well, that's the real key. And, and yeah, well, and what, what was that? I told you that I heard the other day. Now, it wasn't even a crop, but some weather. Was it the shrimp crop that oh, I Oh, that read? was in, uh, yeah, in North Carolina or South Carolina, the white shrimp. Yeah. Yeah, 90% decimated, yeah. frozen. Yeah, so this has a, a, you know, an impact on the whole chain of 
ecology and all these crazy weather situations I think we're going to get some some serious crop loss in, in Europe with all this cold holy cow you know my son's in Lake Tahoe which of course I'm going to be going to Lake Tahoe for a little vacation yeah, here coming nice. up but uh, they had a blizzard and he took a picture and showed his front door his sliding glass door was completely covered in snow yeah. Well, right. if you look at the uh, pictures from uh, Berlin, uh, if you're looking at Austria, if you're looking at uh, Italy, uh, you know, major, major snowstorms, even the Sahara Desert is covered major with cold. snow, mm -hmm. major cold. Uh, they're skating in Holland for the first time in a decade, so really? that doesn't happen very often. When I was, uh, I remember in uh, the late 40s, early 50s, I remember skating on the canals, but then my dad told me going into the 60s, there was no ice on the canals for 20, 30 yeah, years. we had that warm period. Right. Right. And so those people that are still buying the global warming scenario, story, we were warm, but we ain't anymore. That's right. <laughs> we're, we're leaving that. We've lost that warm period, they say, about 10, 12 years ago. It right. It's been the tra turning down. Right, yeah. right, right. So, but the graphs are funny because if you start at one place, it looks like it's going up. If you start at another place, it looks like it's going down. So mm -hmm. make up your mind, folks. Kind of like your stocks. Yeah. You guys that uh, watch your stocks. <laughs> yeah, it depends right. on where you buy in, right? Yeah, that's for sure. God, that went by fast. So, you know, we're going to take a short break. Make sure you pick up some of our Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. Right. You've got 310 organic already nutrients stuff you can use every day to stay healthy when we come back holding hands can sink brain waves and ease your pain the study shows so grab someone's hand let's hold hands <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back Bob. like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. You reach for the hand of a loved one in pain, and not only will your breathing and heart rate synchronize with theirs, your brainwave patterns will couple up, too, according to a study that was published this week in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. That's right. This study that was uh, done by researchers with the University of Colorado Boulder and the University of Haifa also found that the more empathy a comforting partner feels for a partner in pain, the more their brain waves fall into sync. And the more those brain waves sync, the more the pain goes away. So. Yeah, he says we have developed a lot of ways to communicate in the modern world, and we have fewer physical interactions. And this paper illustrates that the power and the importance of the human touch. And that's really why I brought this up, is uh, we're out of touch. Again, uh, we're with these cell phones. We're yeah, we think we have friends, but we never touch them or see them. That's right. And mm -hmm. we know how powerful touch is. You know, I think of the uh, ancient healers, the medicine man that comes around with his smoke and his, uh, the drumming or whatever they use and the touching and the placebo effect that we talked about, I, I, uh, I think it was a week ago how powerful that is. So imagine the touch. The reason we touch people is because we want a direct connection. And that direct connection, of course, we know is electrical connection. Because we plasma. are, exactly, we're able to get into the, to sync with our, our brain waves. Yeah, they call this interpersonal synchronization in which people physiologically mirror the people they are with. So it is the first to look at brain wave synchronization in the context of pain, mm -hmm. but it can also be love excitement um sex sex certainly. exactly and offers new insight into the role of brain to brain coupling and it may be play in touch induced analgesia or healing touch folks healing has always been about that connection the yep. laying on of hands is how we healed I even... and can you believe today you can go to a doctor and i mean i really got irritated you know with this whole managed care situation you know like seniors are taking my folks to the doctor the doctor literally is facing a computer screen you know looking yeah. at him where's yeah. that touch and compassion the so, power of the placebo the power of the intention mm -hmm. you're doing fine yeah take this it'll make you feel better mm -hmm. and that entrainment Happens. I even think beyond that because I go back to uh, envisioning large herds of big animals moving over North America and th thinking the connection there with the herd is always there. They're huddled together. They move in mass. When one moves, they all move. It's intrinsic. I think it's electric. They're touching each other, maybe not touching completely. It but can they're... be they're touching their fields. Yeah, because exactly. Because the, hum the human exactly heart I mean. field yeah. is the biggest electrical field. And when field. we say birds flying in unison, they, you know, they do it in such a great manner. You know, when you see the geese, you see the big V formation. If you look at them closely and watch films of them, you see them trading places. What's it called? A murmur? Uh, uh, I, I posted that picture of the, where the birds change direction. But they're in a field. Yes. They're in a communication field. And the human heart, you know, the brain is only maybe seven feet electrical wave. Okay. But how much do you think the heart is? Is it more? 22 feet out. Well, so your heart's electrical field is 22 feet out that way, around circumference. So the human heart is, is, a, is an electrical organ that <clears throat> is greatly underestimated. Again, I think I brought it up on one of the other shows. The Institute of Heart Math showed where they were showing images of both either really happy, like loving babies, or maybe something horrific, mm -hmm. that when they were wired up, with the heart rate variability or the heart's response, the heart's response happened before the brain. Yeah. So which one's leading who? Very interesting stuff. Of course, you know, out. when we talk about people uh, on their deathbed and people coming to see them and touching them, you know, really important things. When you have the care loving nurse or the caretaker there, touching them, cleaning them, doing mm -hmm. all those things. Those are important things in hospice, you know. The, these are the kind of things I think of. But then I go back to those fields of buffalo and things like that, and I think it's all connected. We're so connected with things, and also pets. You know, when you have a pet, uh, and this is, uh, as you get older, to say a companion pet is really, really important. Of course, now we have a stipulation where we have a health care pet. 
that you can take on a plane, you can take into a hospital. Normal pets you can't, but these you can. Some people may be taking advantage of that. Emotional I don't know. support. Emotional pet? support. Well, I think I think it's actually very interesting because we have become so isolated. As I mentioned to you, everyone thinks they have friends, but in reality, they're sitting at home with this, mm -hmm. and they're not really with any of their friends. Yeah. So, um, I also think, you know, pets, and the, then it goes into the gardening thing. You know, when we talk to plants and touch mm -hmm. the plants and everything, like that, we know the plants do better. So the connection between us and human beings is just fabulous. It's, you can, you know, sometimes you meet somebody, you know, that spark is there. When I first met my wife, I looked into her eyes, and I said to myself, I've known this girl for a thousand years. You know, I without think... even you really speaking. Oh, yeah, you know. I see. I just got goosebumps. I, I do believe that... When we meet people, we know. We may not consciously yeah, acknowledge it, there. but because um, this is interesting, um, when they were doing this research, uh, they said merely being in each other's presence with or without touch was associated with some brainwave synchronicity, kind of in the alpha band. Okay. <clears throat> and that's kind of a band that's associated with focused attention, being in the alpha brain state. Right. And, but if they held hands while, while a person was perhaps in pain, the coupling increased the most, and um, researchers found that <clears throat> when a subject was in pain and they couldn't be touched by the other person, mm -hmm. uh, the coupling of their brain waves was diminished. So the touch enhances this strength. Even though we have these fields where we can be connected with each other's fields, the touch truly well, it powerful. must be really powerful because you hear stories of these doctors and Mother Teresa and things like that attending to people with contagious diseases and they're <clears> still <throat> touching them <throat> and, and they don't get the disease. I mean, there's something special going on in human beings that are healers. There's mm -hmm. no doubt about it. I mean, it's important to touch people. I, I, I'm a pretty touchy person. I like yeah. to be touched. I like mm -hmm. to touch people. Yeah, my wife has a, an ability to help heal people, too. She mm -hmm. has, She's always talked about this. And, you know, when I first met Ellen and she started talking about this, I go, oh, okay, everybody believes something, you know. And then slowly but surely she's helped me through things where she's come up and touched me, and, and I do feel better, you know. Of course I feel better because it's Ellen and she's there, but she does have this ability to send kind of healing things to people, mm -hmm. and I'm always kind of going, wow, that's well, pretty it cool. Is I don't the know field. how it works. It is the field and the energy that heals. There's never been a drug or a pharmaceutical solution that did any healing. They're, they really aren't, folks. I mean, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but um, that's not what does the healing. The the, the electromagnetic field in the body yeah, is what does Yeah, but some people are able to use that a lot better. Uh, I remember the story about intention and the dogs, and the, they put camera on the dog and the and the person who's away from the house. And as soon as that person attends to go home, that dog goes to the door. Well, that's the whole science of, of, of prescribing. Um, because the doctor says, take this, you'll feel better. Right. It's the intention. The doctor has the intention that you believe that this little... Whatever it is. You know, coal tar derivative petroleum based something or other <laughs> is going to actually be good for you. But because you believe it, it's really the placebo in action yeah. where it would be better if it was maybe perhaps something not as toxic or, you know. Yeah. But, um, but the intention yeah. may be overriding a lot of that too. So yeah. that's how powerful it is. So I think exactly. it's just an interesting thing. And uh, we got another break to come. So I want people to pick up the primal edge uh, mm -hmm. during the break and also take a look at my brand new uh, Health Signals newsletter. Got one out, number five for the year. Pick Good it up, stuff. folks. We'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge. Formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for the Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv for the latest market information hi hey, welcome back to the show uh, so i want to tie in these cosmic rays that we were talking about earlier and dysfunction because cosmic ray exposure and persistent cognitive dysfunction is real and, uh, so we can actually see the fact that cosmic radiation could be one of the reasons that we're seeing kooky behavior in, amongst the people and the it's, population in general. I think it's general. one of the straws of the camel's back. I think there's other things which we'll discuss. But this, because we're talking about the cosmic rays being raised, I think this is an important thing. And the reason that people are studying this, of course, we have plans to go to Mars, which means that we're going to have astronauts that are in a space capsule, and if a CME hits them or some radiation from space, they're going to be in trouble. Even when they get to Mars, they can't really... Human beings, even a spacesuit, I don't think can live on Mars because there's very little atmosphere for protection there. Mm -hmm. I think those spacesuits would be a problem. We'd have to probably go underground there, perhaps. It could very well be, guys. You know, there's a lot of times that the research that they're doing mm -hmm. parallels what they're actually really doing is trying to figure out what's really going to happen to us. But they're calling it the Mars mission, and mm -hmm. maybe... That's possible. That's you, certainly possible. You know, in possible. other words, they're, they're using Mars, but what they know is, is that it's really coming here. Yeah. See what I'm saying? The exploration of space presents countless challenges to the integrity of humankind. Vast distances separate our planets, and those within our solar system uh, are very far. And it. Uh, yeah, they it, say we need to have advances in engineering to minimize the deep space problems and how this effect w might ameliorate our biology. And as many of the adverse effects that happen, you know, what, what, what can we do about them? Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of this research is yeah, happening. One area that has not received much attention is uh, the human health risks associated with cosmic rays exposure. Mm -hmm. And this is what this is doing. And the reason I brought this up, because I have a, another article here. Are you getting my drift, though, what I'm saying? I'm saying they're talking about this in the oh, context sure. of yeah. Mars, mm -hmm. but maybe they're really doing this research because they know what's coming, that yeah. these cosmic rays are hitting us in such a way. Well, I think that uh, the people in charge probably do know what's going on. Maybe they don't want to inform us. That is very possible. Mm -hmm. Why should they anyway? But uh, I have another one here. And it is called, get up here. 
Well, well just while you're looking for that, you know, the, the result of that study is that cosmic radiation causes long-term cognitive function, that's dysfunction. Right. And that's the results of their study. They're seeing that it affects the brains and how we think and, and our cognitive abilities. And they go through all this rigmarole on it um, uh, and how it affects behavior. And they saw a tremendous impact on behavior. And it, because it really does impact the neurons in our brains and the synapses in such a way that, that this may very well be this change in our weather, this change to our grand solar minimum, the increase of the cosmic rays is truly uh, impacting the behavior of our populations. And certainly if you look through the grand solar minimums in the past, this is when everything kind of happened. I'm talking about population displacement, talking about people moving into different areas because the growing season has changed in their area. So they start encroaching on other people, which means that you've got a battle on your hand because uh, they're protecting their crops and they don't want new people eating it. And it's natural. So also the big epidemics of flu always during the solar minimums. The plagues were always during a time of... Yeah. So let's take this change in, in behavior, this cognitive effect of the grand solar minimum and ice on the top that we've now got these petroleum-derived pharmaceutical solutions to every little pollution, which is the psychiatric medication and the violence-inducing effects of psychiatric medication. This comes from Green Med Info, uh, the brilliant Kelly Brogan, MD, psychiatrist. Who One of the things I noticed, Paige, in this, when you take a look at the background <laughs> of the people who are doing these killings, they're all on these psycho drugs, psycho mm -hmm. drugs, I call them. Mm -hmm. So somewhere along the line, there's something pushing these people over the edge. Absolutely. And I'm talking about the cosmic rays, but I'm also talking about this medicine, and both of them together might be uh, something that... Uh, right, and then combine that up. with EMFs and the yeah. ability to do mind programming or yeah. some of the things that we know happening. We really do have a, a dangerous soup, you know, and, you know, Kelly Brogan goes through that psychiatric medications have some dangerous and often overlooked side effects, which can include suicide and homicide. And right. she cites some of the, the, the sad stories that we've seen. But really what's happened is informed consent, the premise of ethical medicine. And, you know, we really, uh, Kelly's premise in this article is that we really need to be aware of what the potential side effects are. And I just think there's so many people being prescribed solutions that they don't really know what the potential pollution could be. Yeah, and if you're a guy my age, then uh, if you're not taking any kind of drugs whatsoever, you're very unusual. And well, you're not I'm part of the out. program. See, but, yeah. the part of the program is to make sure that for folks over 50 and 60 that you are an annuity. Mm -hmm. Uh, on at least 10 medications. That's the yeah, goal kind from of a pharmaceutical financial insiders. To the, An, uh, a financial the, annuity. Yeah. Study, yeah. So, so that's pretty scary for sure. Uh, I do believe that some of this is going on with these mass murders. If you look at the uh, L.A. shooter, they've now found that... Uh, you mean the Las Vegas? Or the Las Vegas shooter, yeah. Uh, they released the autopsy of the blood toxicity and they found Valium. They found uh, Nordesampan and Oxy something... Pam and no, the bottom line, they've had yeah. a lot of psychiatric anti-anxiety prescriptions, four drugs right? That he had in them. And you know, even Chris Cornwell of Soundgarden. I mean, you know, I have a hard time because I'm not so sure many of these people actually were the shooters or were the actually died from suicide. I think there's other things at play, and these guys were part of the plan. But it does appear that the whole world is getting the idea that that these pills are their solutions when in fact they can be very dangerous. Sure. Uh, Dr. Brogan says if you are informed of the risks, benefits, and alternatives to a given treatment, you will be empowered to make the best decision for yourself based on your personal, family, philosophical, and religious life context. But the truth is that prescribers are not in a position to share the known risks of medications because we learn only of their purported benefits. Yeah, well, With a short tagline of dismissivity, yeah. rare, yeah, 30 rare second risks tagline. <laughs> that are thought to be invariably outweighed by their presenting clinical concerns. Let's take, for example, your evening, um, you know, you're stretched out, you're watching the Shark Tank, and, and uh, every commercial that comes on is in a slower speed. They slow the speed down because it actually works on different brain waves, and you see the husband and wife 
strolling and holding hands. But as they're doing all these things that we view as pleasurable, maybe walking through a garden at a farmer's market together smiling, but in that slow speed, they're actually brain and training you to mm -hmm. just only see the pictures while they blurt out all the associated side effects that if you were in your right mind, which you are not, because you're being programmed by the commercial and well, the slow speed of the film, you do not hear those side effects. But mm -hmm. guess what they've done? They can say they gave you informed consent. Oh, sure. yeah. uh, my favorite is the picture of the two people in separate bathtubs yes. holding hands. Yes, oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anybody has two bathtubs in their house, yeah. but they, there's probably somebody that has them side by side and said, hey, let's have sex. We'll go into the bathtub. Yeah, so we, we know that the <laughs> FDA and the pharmaceutical industry, they've gone to great lengths to conceal the multiple signals of harm. So it's really up to us to start to to research this and uh, we'll get back and continue this conversation a little bit about how maybe the cosmic rays and other things are Stick affecting us. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? You know, you can't time the markets. I didn't. And in 2006, I set out on a mission to do just that. I began by surrounding myself with the greats like Tom O'Brien, Larry Pesavento, David White, and Basil Chapman. I read countless books and even looked to the moon and planets for answers. Now, we both know that trading is 80% mental. So I learned the exact tools that Tony Robbins uses to overcome fear. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And last March, the folks at Timer's Digest began tracking my newsletter signals, which through January 18th, 2018 placed me as the number one gold timer for that exact time frame. Now, I can't officially be recognized until Timers Digest has a full year of signals, but clearly I've learned how to time the markets, and I'd like to teach you how to do that as well. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain access to my live and archive workshops where I show you the exact same patterns that earn me this number one ranking. If you're looking for great market calls and an education, sign up for Mastering Probability today at TFNN.com. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage, you can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. wrap up what we were saying, I want to read a quote from Dr. Kelly Brogan, MD, psychiatrist who really uses a drug-free approach. Because remember when I mentioned to you that much of the effect of these pharmaceutical drugs is in fact a placebo yeah. because we believe they help us. It's very powerful though. Mm -hmm. And she says, if you knew that your symptoms were reversible, healable, transformable, you might consider walking that path instead of assuming this level of risk 
for a placebo level efficacy of psychotropic medication. Meaning you're assuming a lot of risk because you believe that the secret's in this drug when really the secret's inside of you. We would only, you know, so I'll just stop there. If you knew that radical self-healing potential lies within each and every one of us, if you only knew that was possible, you might start that journey today because it's side effect free. That's, so that's I, I thought this I would like, be, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, kind of we've been saying, what is it that actually does the healing? Is it the field? Is it the knowledge? Is it the connection? And, you know, we love Wim Hof and his ability to handle the cold and so yeah, forth. Yeah, so the headline here is Senses, uh, Science is One Step Closer to Understanding How the Iceman Withstands the Frostbite. So they did MRIs. There's a picture of him in the MRI machine. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, he said, the willful regulation of skin temperature and by implication core body temperature, even when the body is being stressed with cold, is an unusual occurrence and may explain his resistance to frostbite. So they're trying to learn what mind over the matter is doing to his body to make him not susceptible to being injured by the cold. And just for people who don't know, Wim Hof uh, credits his unusual ability to set, it, to set things off as a self-development technique dubbed the Wim Hof method. Right. And, uh, you know, Stephen actually has done his whole method. Yeah. 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 And I the, use his breathing mm -hmm. techniques and his The method and involves three components. It's breathing, it's exercising, and it's training of a mindset and concentration with a gradual exposure to cold, according to his website. And, um, you know, so they put him in there, and what did they find out? The, the Dutch man practices the Wim Hof method while undergoing the two scans when they put him into the MRIs, and the findings revealed that the intense breathing method allowed him to regulate his skin temperature and possibly his internal temperatures, too. Power of the breath. That's you know, sure. my um, Qigong teacher, uh, Jeff Primack, has often said, uh, part of a meditative thing is even though my heart is beating fast, I am breathing slow. And that breathing slow actually will regulate that heart to go down. Exactly. So it's mind over matter. So you make the determination to control your biology yeah. by having that intention that you're going to slow your breathing down. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. We use this in uh, jujitsu, of course, when you're battling out there, you come off the mat and you're breathing real hard. You take the deep breath in and take it out really slowly and you find that your body is going to start sinking with the breathing instead of sinking with the activity that you did. So it's a great method. I uh, in, uh, ask people, go see Wim Hof, uh, look him up on the websites, uh, look him up on YouTube and uh, do some of the stuff and you'll be fine. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. really what people have found out and he's not the only one there we have brilliant people all over this world that give us these gems and these gems are really what's going to keep us healthy if we just start listening to some of the natural things that we're doing and uh, that's what this program is about living a primal lifestyle trying to bring this information to you we use these things that we're telling you and we found them to be beneficial so we hope we uh, inspire you enough to use them yourself right and you know whether it be the the nature of Wim, Wim Hof's method or just the cold thermogenesis as we've talked about yep. Jack Cruz's again this ability to start regulating and allow the body to use these reg regulatory mechanisms yeah. to and these the are not response. just good for the body they're good for the mind they slow the mind down they give you that break you need from this intense type of modern living that we have we need to find ways to detune and this is some of the ways you can that's do right that. like i say you know tune out to tune yourself back up you know sometimes you gotta disconnect to reconnect. thanks for tuning in to us though that's right we'll, we'll see, see you next time bye have bye. a great day Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. 
Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.